CNBC TV 18 Weekender. Hello, very warm welcome to you. You're watching CNBC TV 18 Weekender, and I'm Pritika Saxena. With me today is a special guest. He is the heir apparent of CSW Group, the son of uh, the chairman of CSW, Sajan Jindal, Park Jindal. And it's not just Sajan Jindal's son that he has to his resume. He has been a product of Brown University, of Harvard Business School, and has been actively working to build the group's focus ever since he was in college. He not only handles the group's U.S. business, he also takes care of the cement business. He has been overseeing operations in the sports business as well. And not just that, he's been looking into venture capital. There are many areas that he is into. Not just that, he is a table tennis, a squash, uh, as well as a football player. So let's understand exactly what his focus is, how he balances his time. Let's understand what Art Jindal is all about. Let's go in. Hi, Par Sitika. Good to see you finally. <laughs> Well, it's, it's an important day today. Parth Jindal is giving officially his first uh, television interview. Is that right? That's right, yeah. Have you, have you been shying away from interviews right now? Did you want to focus on uh, work first and then look at the limelight? No, actually, I mean, I wanted to have some responsibilities first. I wanted to learn the business and before giving an interview because this is my... I've given a lot of interviews before on sports, but I've never really given an interview on business before. Okay, fine. So we'll, we'll go into the business and we'll talk shop in a bit. But you know, Bharati, uh, you came on board in uh, 2016 formally, but yep. from 2012 you have been overseeing operations. You have been a very uh, close part of the US work, uh, the sports business. How has the journey been? You know, you've been balancing work, you've been balancing your personal life and studies as well. How has the journey been so far? How have you grown? So, you know, when I, when I graduated from Brown University in 2012, uh, I came back and I started discussing with my father that, you know, how should I get involved in the JSW group and what should I do? And the options were, there were two options. One was to get directly involved in JSW Steel in India. And obviously, JSW Steel at that point was doing very well, and it's continuing to do very well. So, you know, we were of the opinion that instead of actually getting into the steel business directly and trying to improve a business that is already profitable, I should get involved in those businesses that are part of the JSW group that are not doing well. And try and, you know, my dad was like of the opinion that if you can turn around those businesses, the confidence and the buy-in that I would be able to achieve within the group would be immense. I've learned an incredible amount and now to see the results of, you know, the four years of work bearing fruition with JSW Cement having achieved a complete turnaround and now we're expanding. Uh, with the U.S. it's still very challenging and, and uh, we're trying our level best to turn that around mm. as well. So you started uh, pretty much uh, since you were in Brown University. How many hours were you sleeping at night? <laughs> No, so, you know, it's... it's uh, I mean, it's, how did you balance that out? It's been, it's been you know, part of my, my life, uh, seeing dad uh, growing up, seeing my grandfather, seeing all my uncles. Um, you know, work never stops. So, whenever I was studying or whenever I was in school, um, you know, for the weekend, you know, maybe one weekend a month, I would go to the, the plant in Texas to, to see it. To that's understand. how you spend your weekends? No, one weekend. You didn't go to the beach? <laughs> One weekend a month, I think that was, that was, uh, that was, and three weekends I could do whatever. Okay. And I said one weekend I should make it a point uh, so to since, go. So since when? Since when did you know that this was your destiny? How old were you when you realized that this is what you want to do? Growing up I always knew that uh, it was expected of me to join the family business. 
but my parents never really put a lot of pressure on me. They never told me that, you know, you have to get into the business or you have to do this. My father was always very keen that I become an engineer because he thought, you know, that if I become an engineer, I would, you know, naturally get in, get inclined towards the steel industry or the power industry. I could, I didn't become an engineer. I, I tried. Um, and there's a really funny story of how uh, my dad and I went to watch the movie Three Idiots. Okay. And I was actually at that point an engineer. I was at Brown, I was doing mechanical engineering. Okay. And in the movie, suddenly in the interval, I started crying. I said, Dad, this is exactly my story. I can't do engineering. What was his reaction? So he said, okay, beta, do whatever you want. Even I agreed. This. So I owe, I owe a lot to Amir says. Khan. I owe a lot to Amir Khan. <laughs> and then I converted uh, to political science and economics. Uh, and I completed my graduation. So actually, I, I would say from the time I was maybe 16, um, I knew that I was uh, going to go into JSW. Like all, everyone, whoever I met, whenever I would go to the factories, uh, you know, it was kind of implied that, okay, one day you're going to come back and you're going to get involved in the business. At a point in your life where there are a lot of things that have happened all together, you've just gotten married, I believe. Congratulations. Thank you, thank you. You've started on a very large journey in the, in the group. You're diversifying from sports to marketing, from venture capital, from looking at startups. Uh, what is the key that you have learned so far in the last two, three years to balance out life? You know, that's something our viewers, the corporate world, even I struggle with every day. So I think I think I'm still I still haven't achieved a good balance. Like if you talk to my wife or you talk to my parents, they would they would complain that I don't spend enough time with them because that's everyone. Yeah, <laughs> because I've just started out. But but I think um, I enjoy what I do and um, sports and ventures. I would say are my two passions and my two hobbies. And it's it, I'm really lucky that I've been able to make that part of my work life mm. and I've been able to contribute meaningfully to those areas. And then comes the business side. And again, in the business side, uh, you know, I get involved in those areas which I enjoy. So I think if you don't enjoy what you do, if you don't love what you do, and if I come into work every day, uh, you know, feeling like it's a burden, then I think uh, it's, you know, it'll be a very difficult journey. You play table tennis. You play. I play uh, table tennis, football. and I used to play table tennis a lot. Uh, I used to, I played for Mumbai as well, and yes. then. I played squash uh, for for Mumbai and then for my university in the, in the US, and I love football and cricket. Those those are uh, the, I mean I play with my friends on the weekends. And okay, so so your ideal day is to start with a little bit of sports. Yeah, ideal day is either squash in the morning or the gym, and then come so to work. That starts by five. No, no, no. <laughs> eight o'clock. Eight o'clock. Okay, uh, eight o'clock in the gym or uh, on the courts, and then come to work at around 10.30, 11, and then at work till 7.30, 8, and then go home for dinner. Uh, either go... So do you ensure that you have dinner at home till late? You yeah, yeah. That dinner, the family dinner, dinner, dinner is... Yeah, yeah, dinners at home with, uh, with the family, or we go out as a family or with friends. Really? So, okay. so that's, that's for sure, guaranteed. If I'm in Bombay, then that's, that's guaranteed. All right, we'll take a short break on that note. Uh, stay tuned to CNBC TV 18. Lots more on the other side with Parth Jindal, including GSW and the vision that Parth has for the company going forward. Stay tuned. <laughs>